I am a video editor on duty, and that means that my clients hire me to fix problems that they can't, kind of like a doctor in an emergency room. Now, of course, this often comes with an impossible deadline. Luckily, today is my day off. Hold on, I'm getting a call from a client. Hey, Jenny, how's it going? Yeah, okay, no shit chat. What? Your editor called and sick? I've got one hour to finish the music on your show? But, but Jenny! Damn it, she hang up. All right, the first thing Jenny sent over is a video of some criminals who are up to something. Now, we could just slap some aggressive music underneath because, you know, they want to break in. But instead, we're gonna do something funny. Let's add this playful, childish song underneath this first thief. That makes us feel like the thief is goofy and clumsy. It's kind of spoiling that something is going to happen. And indeed, the thief slips and falls on the ground. At that moment, the audio cuts off. That will make the fall funnier because you focus and isolate on the falling. Let's move further in the video to the second thief. We can basically do the same thing, but instead we're gonna use another playful song with some different instruments. Every time you switch characters, you also change back to the song from that character. That way the viewers make a stronger connection to that character. This is called character-specific music. Just think about every superhero movie. The bad guy always has their own song. All right, let's see what else Jenny sent over. Oh, a video of some bodybuilders. What is that, five kilos? I can lift way more than that. It's showtime. Let's do something funny with them, okay? No, seriously, we can actually use music to choose the mood of our video. For example, we can again add a childish or playful song underneath the bodybuilders. This way the viewer won't take them serious and people will laugh. But if you use some hard motivating music, people will take them serious and perhaps even look up to them. That way, you can decide the mood of your video and the way the characters are perceived. Now, funny music doesn't always make things funnier. There are great scenes in the series Squid Game where players walk through the hallway. They've just been through a massacre. In the background, we hear a happy song, although we don't laugh at the scene. In fact, it makes things more dramatic because what they've been through isn't something to be happy about. This is called music in contrary, also used all the time in horror movies to make things scarier. Oh yeah, the bodybuilders. I still feel like the connection between the music and the video isn't there yet, but I do have a little trick that can make them fit better together. Select your audio clip in the timeline and let the video play. Now press the M key every time that you hear a beat. This creates a marker on every beat which we're going to use to edit on. Now we can cut our clips on the first and the third beat, for example. As long as your videos are cut on the beat, the connection between the music and the video will be stronger. This is great for powerful edits or music videos. And I know where to find good music for this project on Audio, the sponsor of today's video. It's actually very simple for you to find the song because you have these amazing filters like mood, genre, instruments, theme, and much more. And all the sounds you hear in this video, including the background music, comes from Audio. Now, my favorite feature is the instrumental only and lyrical only filter. That makes looking for background music so much easier. And of course, you can also look for sound effects. You know, things like transition Positions, ambience, whatever you can think of, you will find it on audio. Oh, and they're also working on a beautiful mobile app that lets you search, create playlists, and download on the go. Audio is literally the fastest way to license music online. That is because they double check the reason why you're downloading the tracks. That way you're always safe and don't need to worry about copyrights. Their mission is to make high quality music available at a very affordable price. So if you want to create better quality content, start downloading right now by clicking the first link in the description down below. And now let's continue with the edit. The clock is ticking. And as you can hear, the end of this video is a little bit too harsh. Now to fix that, you can simply extend the music and create a fade out. But that isn't so professional. Instead, extend the song until you reach the end. Then set a cut on the last beat of the song, set another cut on the last beat that plays with the video, and remove everything in between. Then close the gap and voila. 
But Jordy, what if my song doesn't have a nice ending? Well, no worries. You can create one yourself. Simply trim the audio for how long you want the audio to be. Set a cut right before the last beat. This works great on a snare or on a snappy sound. And then hold down Ctrl and right click to create two keyframes. Then drag down the second keyframe to silence the audio. Now the end sounds like this. Next, go to the effects library and find the convolutional reverb, drag it onto the effects controls. Then open up the reverb settings, click edit, and once it's open, click the preset list and choose bitter hallway. With the mix slider, you can mix the volume between the dry signal, which is the original sound, and the wet signal, which is the reverb. Now drag it to 100%. Now there's one problem that comes with it. The snappiness of the drum will be gone and only the reverb of the sound exists. But we can fix that by duplicating the clip in the timeline and removing the reverb from the duplicates. Next, use the level control on the audio clips to mix down the wet and the dry signal. That way, you have much more control. Hey, what, what just happened? Did my waveform just disappear? Ah, a classic bug in Premiere. All right, I don't have much time, but I'll share how to fix this with you quickly. All you need to do is right click the clip and choose render and replace. There you go, it's back. All right, let's see the next video. Hey, that's me. I didn't know I was featured in this project and you can, you can barely hear me speaking. Crap, this video is five hours long. I can't possibly duck the audio every time I'm talking in 10 minutes. Oh, but wait, I can make Premiere do this for me. Go to the window menu on top and and open up the essential sound panel. In the timeline, select the speech clips, then go to the essential sound and tag the clips with the dialogue audio type. Next, select the music clip and tag it with the music audio type. And now these options here will appear. Scroll down until you see ducking. Enable it by checking the box on the right and make sure that the speech icon is selected. And this is fairly new, but you get many controls that you can tweak the way that the ducking has to work. Click on generate keyframes when it's done. You can always readjust the settings and click generate again. All right, I wonder what it can do with a waterfall. We're done and we still have a minute left. Pfft, piece of cake. Hey, Jenny. What? You want me to edit the music on a slow motion clip in, in one minute or else I'm fired? <sighs> Jenny is a bitch. All right, we've got a skater and he's going to slow down. Now the music has to sound slow as well. Now to do that, set a cut at the moment where the skater starts to slow down. Right click the second part and choose speed slash duration. Set the speed to 50% and click OK. Then set a cut where the skater starts speeding up again. Right click it and go to speed duration. Now set it back to 100%. Now to polish the effect, select a cut in the audio and hit shift plus D. That will apply the default transition. Now do the same thing for the second cut. Look at that. Awesome. Hey, Jenny. Yeah, I'm, I'm done with the project. What? The show got canceled? So all of this was for nothing? Well, okay. Good thing you guys learned some new tips today. Anyways, music is only 50% of editing sound. The other part is sound design. So let's continue the lesson here. I'm a left. I hope you see it there, guys. Thank you for watching. And as always, stay creative.